Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another quick tutorial. On this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to download and install Spy Hunter 5. Now, Spy Hunter 5 is a malware removal tool that helps out to remove malware and tune-ups and clean-ups for your computer. But there is a typo that came out there in 2019, I think it was around like April or so, when a encryption and type encrypt, pretty much encrypting for your computer stuff like that came out named exactly like spy hunter and i'm going to show a little bit of details before we get into this this is the spy hunter ransomware that came out and it encrypted everything that you would have to pay out and it does a scan pretending like it's a spy hunter this is what it looks like it tells you that it is an enigma spy hunter 5 it is actually is not it's a uh, very similar like this so be careful on those versions what i'm going to be showing you is actually the genuine one from enigma themselves so let's go ahead and jump right into that video so first you just go ahead and open a browser and there's different ways you can get to this you can type in go to google if you want to and we're going to go ahead and type in spy hunter and you can go straight directly to spyhunter.com or you can go to enigmasoftware.com they're pretty much the exact same thing they're the same software there and when we're going to go ahead and use the one from enigmasoftware.com and from there we can go ahead and press download free malware removal so let the file download and the file is already completed download so I'm going to go ahead and click the file and run it now I'm done pretty much with the browser so I'm going to go ahead and just X this, I do not need this anymore. And you can choose what language once it loads up. I'm going to leave English for me and press OK. It tells you it's from a trusted certified download site. And it tells you it's a little information, everything you have, to, you have to accept it. If you press no, it won't let you go through. And let the program install. Alrighty, so the program has pretty much finished downloading. It's already loading up. Um, so setup is successful. Press finish. Now to do this, you have to type in an email account. That is normal. It's a trial version. If you want to buy the paid version, then you would have to do that. Um, business organization. I'm going to use personal use. It doesn't matter if you're using it for either. It's up to you. But I'm going to go ahead and type this information and be back once I get this done. Alrighty guys, so I pretty much created my account already um, from the email. You might need to actually go to the email and verify and activate if you want to. But again, this is just a trial version. So right now it's scanning my computer. This is a pretty clean computer, but it's probably going to find some files right here. So here we are right now. It's doing some whitelisted. That's actually normal stuff that the computer has in there. What we're going to look for is if it has any malware, registry, or bad stuff that's on there. Alrighty guys, so pretty much scanning the computer for more than about like 10 minutes or so, it finally finished right here, and it found some files, like some cookie files, normal stuff that has been used on those, so those files can pretty much can be removed, they need to be listed. And let's see what malicious files right here, it says VLC, VLC is not technically a virus on there. It's not... It gives a medium. There is some stuff on there about it uh, because there's software we're not using because that goes into some good details of what it has. Um, but that that's not pretty much one right there. It does have a list that was there in white listed. That's all the stuff that is good that pretty much knows that are normal that are used on the computer. And it came out pretty good because this computer doesn't have anything. It's a virtual computer. The only thing that's there is pretty much just these cookies that were probably came in this list. Um, let me just cancel this. It was already doing a scan on there. It did an active scan for anything like this. Now I could also can run a malware scan and see if anything comes up here, but it would probably take a while. Um, let's go ahead and press next and see if we actually can clear those cookies out and fix these problems. And it found that one vulnerabilities came up finished and everything looks good right here. Now let's go ahead and do a malware scan. Um, I'm going to do a quick scan and see what it does. It's probably going to do the exact same thing what we just did right now. Yes, it's pretty much the same, the active scan. Let's see what comes up. 
Yeah, it's doing the same thing. So pretty much, it's the same thing what we just did. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cancel this. But yeah, this is a pretty good program. It didn't have anything too much major. If you want to go into details like the registry clean and security guard, you probably need to purchase them. But it has helped us also if you need that right there to make a ticket. But everything seemed came out pretty good like this. Thank you for watching from Hudson's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.